Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to be doing a perfume blind buy unboxing slash first impression. I just got the package today in the mail. I'm actually refilming this intro, so I already started to kind of cut open into it, but I'm still, I still haven't finished cutting open. But my intro wasn't filming, so I had to restart this part so this is a fragrance that i've wanted for so long i was going to hold off and tell you the name until later on when i actually show you but you already see the title it's la belle from jean paul gautier i've had this perfume recommended to me so many times i've had it recommended by you guys i've seen perfume reviewers like all over the fragrance community review it saying it's amazing and it's just a perfume that i've always had my eye on but recently i think one of you guys recommended it to me and it just really got me thinking so i went on to fragrance and I was looking at the reviews as I normally do and the reviews were so like half and half it was literally one after the other like a comment that loved it and then the one below was a comment that hated it and then it loved it and then it hated it and I'm just like I need to smell this for myself some people were like oh this smells like a juicy pear pie just freshly came out of the oven and then some people smelled like this smells disgusting and like dirt and just straight up vetiver and it's absolutely gross and i'm just like those are such different things like which is it so it just really made me curious and then what made it worse is the fact that as soon as i wanted to buy it so bad i went to my usual fragrance uh shops that i go to and i could not find it anywhere i went to like three that i usually go to and i'm able to find most discontinued fragrances there like i found my gucci rush which is a perfume that came out in 1999 so i could not understand why i could not find this perfume anywhere because this is a newer perfume my parents were even in miami one day and i asked them and they asked at a perfume shop over there and they didn't have it either and i'm just like Oh, I'm gonna have to order this online, aren't I? And I know to most people that's like a no-brainer. Like most people would probably order online before ever even going to a store. But not me. I'd rather drive 10 hours away to go get something than have to wait for a week for it to come. Like I know that probably sounds insane. Like who cares? Like most people just forget about the things that they order. Not me. You know when you go into Safari and it tells you like your most frequently visited websites? Mine is USPS tracking. I was tracking this perfume every single day. It was supposed to come Friday. It didn't come Friday. It was supposed to come Saturday. It didn't come Saturday. And then Sunday they were closed. So finally it came today. At this point, I've kind of like vowed that I will never order anything online again. I have a patience of a squirrel. Like I just can't do it. I'm gonna go ahead and open this guy, like actually fully open it. And oh, by the way, I ordered this off of Fragrance X. Usually if I'm gonna order perfume, it's usually through Fragrance X because they have everything and they have really good prices. They ship really fast. I've only ordered one other perfume from there, but I just had a really good experience with that. So that's why I decided to go for Fragrance X again because they have really good reviews too. Like it's just a good website to order fragrances that are also like authentic so you know you're not getting scammed and for a good price so it's like you can't go wrong i think i only had to wait just because it was like a postal problem like it they had a delay it wasn't the actual website because the actual company actually shipped it out like after i think the day after i i ordered it but there was just like a delay in the post office all right so here is la belle i'm so excited so this is the usual Jean Paul Cotier like packaging where it comes in like the can. My Scandal also came in a can. I love this perfume. This is the only other... Oh, I just dropped it. This is the only other one of his fragrances that I have. I love this. This is like a honey bomb. I've talked about this in my past fragrance videos, but it just smells purely like honey, but it's just like really sexy and sweet. So I'm really excited to try this. Some people actually said that this kind of smells like a hint of that perfume. But honestly, the comments and reviews on this are so, like, polarizing. Like, some people say it's, like, amazing. Some people say it's absolutely hor horrible. And I just don't know, so I'm gonna smell it for myself and let you guys know. All right, we're gonna open it. Before I smell it, I'm gonna go through the notes because I just like to do that to kind of get a feel before I actually, I don't know, smell it. <laughs> dumb person you guys even pointed out to me in the comments that i drop a perfume in every single one of my videos like i'm surprised i haven't broken one yet so this has top notes of pear and bergamot it has middle notes of floral notes and leather and then base notes of vanilla vetiver amber and musk so pretty basic notes um 
I've been obsessed with this packaging ever since I've seen it. Like, this is packaging on a whole different level. Like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's like a little body with this flower piece. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so we're going to take this little guy off. I came out of the shower. Like, as you guys can see, my hair is still wet. Because I literally, I was like so excited to film this video. Why do I get nervous to smell a new perfume? I um, did my first impression in a video of this when I first opened it. And I was so nervous. Like, what is wrong with me? I think I'm going to spray it on my skin. Because I think that's how I'm going to get the truest smell. Oh. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's amazing. The more that it's staying on my skin, it's like transforming already. Okay, okay, I have a lot to say. First initial spray. <laughs> Got in my eye. When you first spray this, it it's kind of more fresh. It almost reminds me a little tiny, 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 tiny bit of the Jimmy Choo, the original Jimmy Choo. Like when you first spray it, it reminds me a little bit of that. But once it's dry, you get this sweetness and you get this kind of like, I don't know, crackery, cookie sort of scent. But I do get that pear right away in the first spray. And then the amber and vanilla really come in in the dry down. But it's still mixed with that pear. So it's like, it's sweet. Oops. Sweet, but it's not like sickingly sweet. I, like, I love this right now. Like, I love it. I don't think I get any of this guy, Scandal, in this perfume. Like, I think this is its own like original perfume it kind of gives me like maybe a little bit of hint of like a patchouli sort of smell but not in a disgusting way in a really really good way which is surprising for me to say because i hate patchouli but i'm guessing that's the vetiver that i'm smelling that's making this a little bit like if this was just pear and vanilla that would be really childish i feel like i think that vetiver is really bringing this together and making it more mature not in like an old way but mature in like a very like luxurious way like sexy and like gourmandy way i don't know i don't know how to explain this it's so good it's kind of like a whole journey spraying this because in the beginning you get pear it dries down you get the vanilla it dries a little bit more you get the vetiver and i think at the end it kind of all comes together but i think in the end the main note that's standing out for me is probably the vetiver take Marc Jacobs um, Decadence, which has vetiver in it, but mix it with like, what's a really sweet perfume? Like a really, like mix it with like Juicy Couture, Gold Couture, like a really caramelly, sweet, like cookie-like scent. It's like a mixture of those two. It's a really unique mixture that I honestly have not smelled in any perfume before. It's definitely not in one that I own. Some people say that it reminds them a little bit of La Vie Belle. Personally, I don't see that at all in this. But I feel like it has little characteristics of each of these, but it's like all combined into like this delicious concoction. And I think my conclusion on this is that I love it. Like usually... With a lot of perfumes, I have to kind of sit on it. Like at first, I'm like, I don't love this. And then I kind of wear it. But to be honest with you with this, I really, really love it. Each time I'm smelling it, like the more it's settling onto my skin, it's smelling better and better and better. And this is sweet, but I feel like you could get away with wearing this during the summer because I don't know, just that pear and vetiver really kind of give it a freshness that I feel like you can't say that it's a gourmand all the way because... It does have the sweet, which is really nice because I love my sweet scents. But those fresher notes are really kind of keeping it a little bit more uplifting and not so like heavy as like a really, really sweet gourmand would be. And it just seems like with a lot of people's reviews that a lot of people smell different things in this. What I smell, you don't and vice versa. So I can't sit here and tell you it smells like this is in this and then you smell it and you're like, well, no, it doesn't. It didn't mean I lied. It just means that that's what I smell. But in my personal opinion, I really like this. And I would say it's a really good mixture of sweet and fresh. Like I can't categorize this as either one because it's a really good mixture of like a, I would say like a pear pie of how people are saying it, but a fresh pear pie. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. I will say though, the vetiver is a little heavy in this. So if you're not a fan of vetiver, I would still say try this out because I think I can still smell the other notes enough for me to not just be like, this is just vetiver. And yeah, my conclusion is that it's like a very edible, 
fruity fresh fragrance like edible sweet fruity fresh fragrance not in a childish way in a really really good like mature sophisticated but really sexy way like i could see this being a big compliment getter because i honestly don't think it's as polarizing as people are making it out to be in my opinion i feel like this is a pretty safe blind buy i don't see a lot of people hating this like it's really filling up my entire room like i can smell it it's strong um and as far as performance i can't really obviously say anything on that because this video was just like a first impression so yeah i think this is going to be a really good one in my collection that I'm gonna use a lot and I think I'm gonna use that for summer too. I really don't think it's that heavy. I know that a lot of people do think it's really heavy. Personally, I don't. Like every time I smell it, it smells different in a good way. It just keeps getting better the more it's staying on my skin. So I can't wait to smell this a few hours and I will put it in my description like what I think in a few hours because obviously I don't know this now. So I'm going to end this video here and I'll just write in my description what I think of this. That's it for this video. It was kind of a simple video, not too long, not too crazy, but I really love these kind of like first impression videos. Hopefully they help you guys out. Let me know if you like these, like if I should continue them or not, let me know because um, I really like doing them personally but yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments if you tried label what you think about it if you're interested in getting it if this video made you interested to in getting it let me know all of that and please like this video if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel and make sure to turn your post notifications on so that you know every time that i upload and i will see you guys in my next video bye